We're just out near Tarkata on one of our long-term monitoring points. Uh, we've been monitoring the site since 2000 and this morning we're out here doing bird surveys. So we look at scattered trees, tree plantings and other vegetation on agricultural landscapes and uh, see what, how that contributes to biodiversity conservation. So our research over the last 20 years has extended from northeastern Victoria to southeast Queensland. Over a thousand long-term sites where we've monitored biodiversity, monitored the health of farms. And that work is aimed at how we manage farming landscapes so we can integrate farming with biodiversity conservation and environmental management. It's some of the world's largest monitoring work, some of the world's longest term farm research, and it clearly shows us the way in terms of how we should be managing these rural landscapes. When my grandfather and his brother first got here, the government policy of the day was to clear the land. So we've got black and white photos of them cutting things down, chopping things down. Since then, uh, my father and I have moved towards working with nature and trying to uh, put, a, put a balance back into the landscape. The property at the time was over cleared. There was a rising water table, uh, trees, there was dieback of trees, a decline in native vegetation, uh, native wildlife, and not a lot of native pastures were, were present. And I suppose we've got to go back to about 1985 and we had a lot of problems with rising water table. We worked out a program of putting trees on the ridges and implementing pastures and that sort of thing. In 1989 we planted the first lot of trees and then the third year we did more plantings, 25 or 30,000 trees up on the top of the ridges that were pretty bare and pretty ordinary. And I wouldn't have gone ahead with that had not we've had the success that we had in the first year. So the changes we have seen are an increase in productivity, uh, a great balance between the environment and, and farming, and an increase in native vegetation. The reason for taking this on is that it has multiple benefits and often it's not the ones that you originally perceive. So we've planted trees to reduce water table, but in actual fact we've doubled our carrying capacity at the same time. To see the birds and see them in an area that they're happy with and common to are fantastic. And I remember once upon a time if I got down and things weren't going too good, I'd get on my horse and get my dogs and go for a ride. And you always felt a lot better when you came back. It sort of cleared your mind and had time to think. When I put the trees in, you'd pull up on the side of the tree lot and you'd wander through quietly through the trees and the same principle evolved. You know, you just, you sat there, you felt good and had a look around and you could see what the works that we had done had been successful. There's no doubt about that in my mind. For me and, and my family, it certainly made it easier to get through the drought because it gave us uh, encouragement that uh, we, we were moving in the right direction and, and that what we were creating was actually more resilient and, and able to adapt and, and persist during those tough times. And then when, it, when the drought did break, uh, all the countries bounce back. We need to care about improved biodiversity because uh, in an integrated landscape that, that's critical to it. it. It makes it far more resilient and it creates uh, habitat for wildlife. We are more profitable uh, in, in every sense, so whether you, whatever way you measure that uh, with the triple bottom line, whether that is uh, from a production perspective, from an ecological perspective, uh, from a social perspective or community perspective. Having done it, um, yeah, we don't even think about it now. It's, it's done, the trees are in, and they're growing, and we're starting to see the results from that. If we hadn't done this, it would have been a slow and steady decline um, to the, with a deterioration both in the landscape uh, and also as far as productivity went. What we need is people to get on board with this and support our work and take it to the next level so that we can truly have sustainable farms with healthy biodiversity, with sustainable bottom lines and a rural community that has 
strong mental health. Oh uh, yeah, I don't think that we've even sort of scratched the surface yet. <laughs>